In the realm of warfare and innovation, the U.S. introduces the Mutant Missile, a game changer. Evolving aerial defense fuels the Department of Defense's billion-dollar investment in breakthroughs. This innovation stirs military circles, a missile altering its flight path, capable of downing agile adversaries like 5th and 6th generation fighters. Welcome to Smart Tech Squad. Join us as we delve into the intricacies of this revolutionary technology, its unparalleled power, and whether there exists anything even more formidable on the global stage. Join us on a journey of innovation, destruction, and defense, a journey into the heart of these amazing missiles. The Mutant The Mutant's inception lies within the Air Force Research Laboratory project, born from years of relentless exploration. Derived from a modified Hellfire rocket, its distinctive feature is a front section capable of bending 45%, enabling swift directional changes. Challenges abounded, enduring intense temperatures, managing high-speed overloads, and executing sharp turns at speeds exceeding 1,250 miles per hour. The Ministry of Defense arrived at an ingenious fix, a composite structure with an elastomer-filled metal frame. This transformation empowered the mutant to soar at supersonic velocities, defiant against temperatures reaching 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit. The technology's allure for the Air Force stems from countering adeptly evasive airborne targets, outshining traditional methods. Imagine an adversary jet on a mission, suddenly detecting an incoming missile. Evasive maneuvers fail as the rocket seemingly passes by, only to execute a surprise sharp turn and reconnect with its target. The Hawk Well, the mutant isn't the sole revelation from the United States. Lockheed Martin, a pioneering entity in hypersonic weaponry, has unveiled their latest marvel, the Hawk, a groundbreaking hypersonic missile. Its standout feature? Unprecedented speed. Boasting a Mach 10 velocity in flight, a staggering 7,500 miles per hour, the Hawk holds the distinction of being the fastest projectile globally, rendering interception futile. This technological marvel not only excels in speed, but also maneuverability, adding another layer of intrigue. A fusion of mutants' prowess with the Hawk could potentially yield the world's most lethal missile. The Hawk's innovation is underpinned by a complex structure, an air-based solid-fuel rocket housing a hypersonic block equipped with a tactical boost glide engine. During ascent, the missile reaches 11 miles in altitude, where the warhead deploys, unleashing a hypersonic arrow that streaks over 300 miles like a lightning bolt. Remarkably, the missile's maiden flight occurred from the iconic B-52 bomber, indicating its adaptability to legacy aircraft models and thus bolstering the U.S. military's capabilities. MGM-140 The realm of potent armaments isn't confined to the Air Force alone. Ground-based artillery systems are engineered for supreme efficiency, a triumvirate of precision, velocity, and extensive range, pivotal for effective target engagement. Take, for instance, the HIMARS standard ammunition, capable yet constrained by its meager 37-mile reach, a facet almost farcical in the face of contemporary demands. Enter the tactical savior, the MGM-140 missile, better known as the ATA-CMS. This colossal 13-foot-long behemoth is a harbinger of destruction for ground installations, weighing in at a staggering 1.5 tons, equivalent to the weight of an average car. Consider the potential explosive payload it bears, an astonishing spectacle documented online. A solitary impact of the MGM-140 translates to the annihilation of the intended target, possibly multiple targets, given its capacity for cluster munitions encompassing an entire football field. The ATACMS boasts a paramount feature, highly esteemed by the military, an astonishing range of 186 miles, augmenting its strategic prowess. M270 MLRS Pairing the HIMARS with the MGM-140, an attack range spanning the distance from New York to Washington, crystallizes into a formidable, chilling prospect. 
The U.S. military leverages its versatile M270 MLRS rocket launcher system to blanket adversaries with missiles, impervious to conditions, firing high-speed rounds adaptable to diverse battle scenarios. At the core of this potency lie these extraordinary missiles. While the ATACMS is familiar, the enigmatic AT-2 rocket surfaces, a clandestine U.S. invention unlike any cluster munition, seeding fields with 500 anti-tank mines, erecting an insurmountable barrier. The M270 MLRS orchestrates this in a minute, leaving behind an unforeseen menace. A German counterpart, the Mars-2 reactive salvo fire system, gains newfound might with the TOW anti-tank missile, discharging self-guided projectiles that obliterate targets from above. Amid these immense offenses, the need for defense arises. Enter IRIS-T SLM, Germany's pinnacle air defense system. Designed to neutralize aircraft, helicopters, unmanned vehicles, missiles, and even satellites, its attack range of 17 miles stands as a marvel. IRIS T SLM. This distinct complex differentiates itself from its counterparts by its self sufficiency, void of the need for cover or separate reconnaissance units. The IRIS is capable of establishing a position, tracking targets across vast distances, and culminating in a singular precision strike. Notably, it provides uninterrupted 360 degree protection without shifting position. The current iteration incorporates a pair of radars, one discreetly operating in stealth mode, the other facilitating comprehensive 3D tracking of over 180 targets within a radius of 155 miles. Data seamlessly streams to the operator's console, resembling a virtual game. When an adversary enters its domain, the IRIS-T missiles mobilize, aptly named after the complex. Capable of engaging targets soaring up to 92,000 feet, surpassing modern fighter jets' altitude capabilities, the system renders low-flying satellites and conventional combat drones ineffectual threats. With its encompassing capabilities, the IRIS missile system, in tandem with other technologies showcased in this video, epitomizes the multifaceted spectrum of contemporary weaponry. And that's the end of today's video. As we continue to explore the ever-evolving landscape of defense and offense, your support fuels our drive to deliver the most insightful content. If you found this exploration as fascinating as we did, please take a moment to hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comment section. Your engagement inspires us to redefine and enhance our offerings. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.